God spoke the 10 words to his people, and he still speaks those 10 words to us in the New Covenant. The, uh, the 10 words are repeated in the, New, in the New Testament in various ways. So these commandments are still for us. Um, but I think the, the more, more fundamental reason that I'd, I'd refer to is the fact that these 10 commandments are originally and fundamentally about Jesus Christ. And these are specific ways that we follow Jesus. These are ways of discipleship. So I think, for example, the Sabbath command, uh, we don't keep the Sabbath in the way that uh, ancient Israel did. We don't keep the seventh day. Uh, we're not under the same kind of restrictions about activities, uh, I don't believe, as the Old Covenant Israelites were. And yet the Sabbath is pointing to Jesus and to Jesus' Sabbath-giving, rest-giving ministry. Uh, that's, what the, that's what the Fourth Commandment is uh, about largely. It's not about us simply taking rest, but us giving rest and relief to those who are under our care and under our authority. And Jesus fulfills that. He's the rest giver. And so as his people, we're entering into that mission of giving rest and relief, uh, providing health and life, and uh, spreading Sabbath life. So the Ten Commandments give us specific ways of following Jesus and specific ways of sharing his mission.